What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. I'm here in my crafting room and somebody told me to try out some new crafting recipes. So I think I will just look inside of that chest. And what do we have here? Some string and some iron ingots and stone. So hmm, maybe they're already placed like I should craft them. So I'm just going to put off that string inside. Great, I got a cobweb. Finally, I can troll my friends using the cobwebs. And what else do we have? An iron ingot with stone. So I'm just going to place that as I should. And only the stone left. Yay, I got some iron ore back. No need for silk touch anymore. So the way this works is pretty simple and has already been shown by It's Just Jumbi, um, whose videos I like and I decided to make a filter on his latest video um, for better custom crafting. So this is all of the redstone, totally um, created by the filter of course. And so this is just um, a very fast falling sand clock which was posted by one of my subscribers, thanks to you. And this just um, rapidly um, powers and unpowers this clock here. And it just tests for um, the data of the Minecraft dropper down there, which is um, our crafting table. And if um, the block data matches the data in the command block, um, a comparator turns on and sets the block data to, for example, the cobweb or five iron ore, like I wanted it. And I'm just going to show you how to use that filter. Everything we need is a dropper, a chest and the stuff that we want to have to craft. Um, so for example, now I have to be creative, if I want to have some bedrock, yeah, let's craft bedrock. It's always a good idea to have bedrock in the world because you can't destroy it and I, th I mean, yeah, it's just awesome. Like this. And what could, what else could we take to make bedrock harder? Maybe clay. So what we do is we put the desired crafting recipe uh, in the dropper. For example, I want some obsidian um, <coughs> with a clay in the middle and in the chest above the dropper it has to be a dropper by the way you put an item no matter in what slot but the first item counts um, and this is the item that you get out then you can have for example five bedrock but because um, bedrock is pretty expensive um, yeah you need a lot of obsidian and clay so I will now just head over to MC Edit and show you how to do it. So here in MC Edit, everything you need to do is select both the chest and the dropper, and then you hit filter and select Jumbies Custom Crafting, and then you hit filter, and that should be it. But if you want to have multiple crafting recipes like me um, on a single um, crafting table, what you have to do is you have to move um, the structure using uh, first select it and then use the nudge button um, together with the movement keys and move it where you want to have it. What you do then is uh, you save it obviously, get back to Minecraft and I'll show you what to do. So here in Minecraft we now have this structure and if we um, want to activate the whole system, what we need to do is just replace that redstone block. Now um, you see I get some bedrock out of that. If I have clay and obsidian I can just demonstrate it once more like this. It's totally easy. Yeah, you see I got some bedrock and if you now want to have another crafting recipe what you do is um, you repeat what I just did um, for example, you take a block of redstone and put 
Nein, Redstone Dust in the top chest here. And then you just rerun the filter, move the structure and it should all work fine. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, thanks for watching another of my videos. See you next time. Bye.